So let's go over input and output in the C programming language. It's going to be pretty straightforward. We have various functions for input and various functions for output. So let's go, uh, go ahead and start off with output. So the most common one you're going to come across is printf. Printf stands for print format. Uh, because it uses what's called format specifiers to tell the compiler what we're going to be, what type we're going to be printing, and format specifiers start with a percent sign, and they're going to be followed by a character or two most of the time, um, and then uh, different websites can sh show you different format specifiers um, that uh, printf has. So, for example, percent s stands for string, and we can see that right here. Hello, world. We run and uh, uh, compile and run that. We can see hello world is printed. Um, and then if we instead wanted to do um, a single character, we can do that with um, percent %c. And then if we want to do l, we can do that. And as you can see, l is printed. Um, and then if we want to do uh, numbers, we can do percent %d for uh, a um, signed integer and then percent i for unsigned integer and then we can do that with here uh, right here 42 Oop. and then as you can see 42 is printed uh, so that is print f the uh, next one we can look at is put char put char is just like print f except it prints a single character um just like this you can see a is printed and then if we want to do put s it's for put uh, put string. Uh, it'll print a uh, single string to the output, and as you can see, "Hello World" is printed, and that is pretty much um, pretty much all all of um, output um, in C. And so next, we can go ahead and look at input. So now let's go ahead and take a look at input. Uh, so input comes from two different fun two uh, two main functions called scanf and fgets. Uh, scanf and fgets are both primarily used for uh, char arrays, uh, which are strings in C. Um, and so scanf is just like printf, where it takes a format specifier. Uh, in this case, we can do percent %s for a string. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a char array right here, char string. Or let's do, go ahead and do 30. And we're going to pass this uh, string in as the argument. All right, and so now what's going to happen is uh, scanf is going to see that we're using, we're using percent %s for a string, um, just like it would with printf. And we can actually go ahead and print that once we're done reading it. Percent %s. And then string. And then let's go ahead and run this. And then we can do testing test. And so as you can see, testing is the only thing that's printed because testing is the only thing that was saved to string. And this is because scanf does not read in white space. As soon as it sees white space, which is the space right here, um, it stops reading in. Um, and only saves the first part, which was not white space. Um, and so if we're wanting to, use, to get white space, then we would use the fgets function. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and actually re, uh, put that string. I'm going to do 30. And so fgets takes in three arguments. fgets is going to take in three arguments. First one is the char array. That we're going to be reading into. The second one is the amount of um, amount of uh, characters that we're going to be reading in. We want to do uh, twenty nine because we want the thirtieth character, the last one, to be the null terminator. We want to manually be able to um, set that. Um, and then the next, the last argument is either going to be a file. Or it's good, or uh, the standard input, and we're gonna go ahead and do standard in. And what that does is it just tells the uh, compiler that we're gonna be reading an input from our console, from our terminal, um, rather than a file, because fgets can also work with a file, but we're not gonna be doing that in this video. So we're just gonna use standard in, which is gonna be from our terminal. 
Um, so let's go ahead and see what this is going to look like when we uh, run it. So you can do testing, test, and as you can see, testing test is um, is saved into our char array. Uh, we what we did. This is a much more safer option because f gets allows us to specify we only want to take in 29 characters so if we put in more uh, than 29 then what it's going to do is it's going to stop right at 29 and it's going to stop reading after that whereas scanf won't do that so let's take a look at that right now so we can do uh testing 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 and more testing and as you can see it only saved in 29 characters and then actually what we can do is string third or string 29 equals the null terminator and we do 29 because uh we start counting at zero and so the 29th index is going to be the 30th character and so we can uh, uh make sure that it does that um manually and so if we did the if we if we did scan f uh scan f will uh, read in as much characters as we input. It's not really that safe. So let's go ahead and look at that right now. S. We're gonna do string, and then let's go ahead and run this. We can do testing, 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 and more testing. And see, as you can see, we have a um, abort right here because the uh, buffer for our string has been overflown um, and this is a safety measure um, that is designed to uh, protect against buffer overflows. Uh, so what ended up happening is uh, Scanf tried to save all of this input into a string of 30 characters and because there was more than 30 it was not able to do that and it resulted in a buffer overflow leading the program to be aborted. So that that wouldn't happen. So um, that is the difference between f gets and f gets or f gets and uh, scan f. Now it's also important to note that f gets uh, will read in a um, it will save in that new line character. Um, and so I think if we wanted to get rid of that, we can. So let's go ahead and do f gets uh, string. 29 and the SCDN and then we want to do uh, string and then let's do str len or actually it's going to be str c span and then string and then we do a new line right here um, Yes, I believe that's going to be, yeah, I believe that's how we do it. So the thing is, so again, F gets will read in a new line. And so um, after we do like, for example, hello world or testing test, um, at the end of that string, when we press enter, um, when we press enter, we're entering a new line character into the buffer. And so if we don't want to save that, then this is what we'd have to do. Uh, str span will essentially return the number or rather the index at which string is a new line and then we set that equal to the null terminator um, and so if we wanted to do uh, printf string and then um, printf test let's go ahead and see what that's going to look like I believe this is going to work <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and, and take a look test and so yeah as you can see testing test this was our string and then it stops and then we print in the new string right here testing and if we did not do this then it would be printed on a new line because uh, the string contains that new line that we didn't overwrite with a null terminator so let's go ahead and take a look at what that's gonna look like uh, testing test and yeah see as you can see here because that new line that new line is saved in the string um, because f gets does not remove that um, that new line so it gets saved into our buffer and so at the end of our string that that new line is going to remain persistent in our string so 
If we don't want that to be the case, then we use uh, str c span with the argument of our string, and then the character that we want to uh, find, which is the new line, and then we set that equal to our null terminator, and then it will not read in, uh, or it will not save that new line into our string. And again, we can see that right here, and it's all printed on one line. So that is pretty much the basics of input and output in C.